Oh, it's about that time. Uh, what's our squad? This is gonna be the first episode of my Catherine gameplay from a brand new from a brand new channel that I'm starting. Sorry, I started then. A little bit nervous, not anymore. So it's all good. Okay, man. I'm gonna start start this joint. Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Take on the trial. See, why can't they just call it single player? Enjoy why make things story. difficult like that? I just want to get in the game. <laughs> Start the story from the beginning. Okay, I don't want to be too easy because it's boring, but I don't want to put it on hard because I want to see you get my ass whipped on recording <laughs> repeatedly. Got no more ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. I love Japanese games so much. You can tell it's Japanese straight away by the artwork and the weird ass shit that comes in. Fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Nice afro, bitch. Put them titties Welcome away. I'm sure your mother told you better than that. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus. The Midnight Venus. <laughs> Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life, tonight's story is Catherine, okay. an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a This game is too flashy, man. man. I've only, I've never really played it probably before. I've played a little bit of it, so I know what the gameplay dictates, but I don't really know what's even happening in the story. So I've done like the first two puzzles I reckon. So if I'm, you know what, I might as well start it from the beginning and play it with you guys. Make things a little bit more interesting. What a playboy, huh? <laughs> what a playboy. Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his Ah blocks, get it? His outcome because of puzzles, you gotta move blocks. On you, viewers. Sorry to keep Of course he does, waiting. we're playing the game, bitch. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Scary motherfucking night. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of <gasps> it! Were you even listening? Uh, nah, bitch. Sure. You know you've been a little. Right, he ain't real. Otherwise, he would just said, "Nah, bitch, I ain't listening. I got bad things to think about and listen to your whiny ass." Sorry, I uh, had to work early this morning. Nothing disrespect females. <laughs> Oh shit, kicking in some music. Man, I heard this the first time I played this. The cheesiest ass Japanese rap music ever. And literally the beginning bit, really, just all it concurs of is yo yo, yo 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 yo, yo yo, and that's about it. <laughs> It's kind of so random, man. It's like I get what it is because of the sheep, as in, like, you know, people are people are sheep and all that shit. It's still fucking weird to see, though. <laughs> I can hear my brother snoring in the background across the freaking <laughs> across the corridor. 
バブルじゃん弾けるまで弱い夢見がちじゃん See, I wouldn't even open a door that looked like it in the first place because you know there's something dodgy as fuck behind you. What the hell is this place? Run, bitch. Run, 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 bitch. Help me! Is anyone out there? Hurry up and climb. Uh, no shit. Serious? Use the directional buttons to move and climb. Boom, boom. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these? You pull them, you some bitch. Press the cross button to grab the block while holding the block. Use the directional buttons to push or pull it. You can also undo your last one. Okay. Use it to give yourself a... Okay, no shit. Alright. Alright. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional continue. If you see one... Alright, I got it. Oh shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Okay. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block to make some footage. Oh, shit. Edge. All right. Let's go. Oh shit. Um. Edge. All right, I got it. This is very important, so make sure you're. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Well, obviously, the edges touch, bitch. Even if a block has nothing directly... Okay, I get it. He's panicking, so, you know, things ain't really making sense to him. But still, jeez. The edges glow bluish-white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. What do you mean, try it for yourself? I've been doing it. Oh, shit. No, don't do it. Good man, I was pretty smooth. Right. Edge. 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 Oh shit, it's my back fine. Legit. Edge. See how the edges connect? Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Man, just let me play the game. What have I got to do? Does it make any sense? How is it not falling? I mean, what about gravity? Fuck gravity. Don't think about it. Just use it to your ad Just Gravity's for pussies. Quickly making steps. Bitch! The core of successfully scaling the tower. Use oh, shit. The to create stairways. Okay, I'm going on. Alright, I got it. Edge. 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 Oh, bro. Go, 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 move, motherfucker, move, 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 move. All right. All right. Where is this? What? As you near the top, you will hear a bell ringing. The exit is near. Anyway, if we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Okay, let's roll. Hey, hey, wait a second. All right. All right. Shit. All right. All right, I got it. Whoa. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
I shall not. Stupid. Okay, right. Right, I got it. Silky. Right. right, I got it. Oh, and I'm out of here. Latest. I can get out through here. They're not. It's a freaking door, man. Just open it. You already opened the dodgy-looking lion head door, sheep head door to get in. Excuse me. Ow. Ow. Silver? You saw my dick, bitch. That's just gold. It's really weird, but I like playing games like these where like the storyline is like I don't know, Japanese games always seem to hit the head with like interesting storylines that mix like reality in with like alternate alternate realities, you know, with metaphysical stuff. Like the game that you played that I loved, like it was on PS2, but I didn't really play it until like ages after the PS2's time, but was that Persona 3. The story on that was freaking amazing. It's crazy. Sure, you could only fight. There was only one really area where you could fight, but the tower was changed as went on. So it's all good, right? But that game was like freaking crazy, just save the world story it, it, at night with a bunch of kids with super super powers. At the same time, it was like freaking dating simulator. You know what I mean? And you have to go out with your friends and shit to make yourself more powerful. Uh, hello. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Man, he saw some gay house boxes. But they're comfortable, though. And I got some gay house boxes, too, but they're comfortable as fuck! So I don't care. Oh, that's his bitch. So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. I like this bitch. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? <sighs> <laughs> I can't remember. Typical man. He don't love me. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now. Oh shit. I don't know. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Right. I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? And he ain't no man. He ain't gonna put no ring on that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Holy, what the fuck? Jesus. Help me, motherfucker. <laughs> other news we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men cause of death is unknown and while police are investigating accidental causes foul play has apparently not been ruled out. hey change foul play has not been ruled out oh, two beers over here coming Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her she says she's not worried about it though totally going to take it right vinny what do you think so, who are you betting on? 
Come man, on, that, pick that one. dude looks like he's got problems, man. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What do I know? Yeah, women's wrestling sucks, man. I always skip that shit when I'm watching SmackDown and Raw, man. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie. What do you mean sounds to you? That's blatantly what it is. I'm not like a motherfucking genius. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. are but that ain't good enough no more, so you better yeah, man so up. Said. Her job's always most important to her. Uh -huh. She's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. So I'm being ambitious, man. I'm ambitious. Besides... You're single too. <clears throat> hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. Play ya. Uh... If you never meet your soulmate, then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway. And I want a nickname like Chief. You're about Paul? He's dead. Paul. Wait. That Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his Oh room. shit. This morning. Wait, that day's some scary motherfucking yeah. eyes. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since... See, why the year. fuck would you tell your homies that? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I don't remember what it was about. I hate when that happens too, man. I have the, these How sick fucking dreams, and then I forget what even happens. You know, I, I wake up thinking, man, that was the shit. I can't wait to tell my friends about this dream, and then when I come to tell them, I can't even remember what it is. Pissing me off. All I can say is, oh, man, I had a really good dream. Oh, what was it? Oh, no. You sound like a fucking idiot. That's all good. <laughs> Just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. You can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprised most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. What the fuck? So she she wants to have kids and a family because she feels left out. Man, this bitch is tripping. Is she fine though. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Don't mind me guys, I'm just being an idiot. Should I reply? Uh, oh, what? It does it all for me. Jesus. All right. Okay. When you spend time in the straight ship, you'll receive text messages on your phone. Some of 
best depending on how you apply Vincent's feeling those of the person he's writing to okay well save the shit save <coughs> Okay, I'm going to make this the end of part one, but don't worry, there'll be a part two will definitely be uploaded like alongside of it, and I'll put a link to it or something below. And yeah, um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. So take it easy. Peace. Words and actions change Vincent's inner oh, wait, hold up. Let me just show this big quickly. Certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, and me it will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect. Okay, cool. Okay, with that, latest guys, take it easy. Peace. Hey.